The world is experiencing a major shift, with artificial intelligence playing a huge role in accelerating this transformation. Even Tesla, the leading company in electric vehicles, has ventured into the AI field. To make AI even more powerful and applicable in real-life scenarios, Tesla introduced the Optimus robot. This humanoid robot has gained significant attention and support thanks to Tesla's reputation and credibility. Elon Musk claims that Optimus is the smartest robot in the world, with proprietary technology built into its components. The robot is designed to take over repetitive, mundane tasks that people usually prefer to avoid. With the release of Optimus Gen 3, the robot's capabilities have expanded to include over 1,000 tasks, ranging from simple cleaning to more complex duties. Welcome to Tesla's world. While Tesla is known for its electric vehicles, Optimus is set to become one of its most important products. Musk envisions the humanoid robot playing a key role in helping the company reach a valuation of $25 trillion. Why? Because he believes the demand for Optimus will be massive, and Tesla is uniquely positioned to mass-produce robots at scale. While the electric vehicle market is highly competitive, with plenty of options for consumers, the market for humanoid robots has little competition so far. Recently, Musk revealed plans to produce 10,000 Optimus robots at Tesla's Fremont factory. Production is expected to ramp up quickly, with 1,000 robots possibly being made in the first quarter and up to 10,000 units by the end of the year. However, Tesla won't be selling the Optimus robots this year. Instead, the robots will mostly be used within Tesla's own factories, working on production lines, in warehouses, and across various departments. Tesla's goal isn't to maximize profits or replace human workers with Optimus robots. That's simply not the case. From the very start, Optimus has been viewed as more of a household assistant. In Tesla's demo videos, the robot is shown performing domestic tasks like cleaning, serving drinks, receiving packages, and watering plants. Elon Musk believes that if Optimus can truly perform useful tasks, everyone on Earth, 8 billion people, will want one. Imagine your daily chores, like cleaning, cooking, washing dishes, or even caring for loved ones, all handled by a $20,000 robot. Optimus can work for nearly 10 hours on a single charge, powered by Tesla's advanced 4680 battery. Equipped with an AI-driven brain and cutting-edge sensors, Optimus carries out tasks with precision, adapting to each situation to ensure efficiency with human-like dexterity. From sorting clothes by material and color, preparing meals, to looking after children or elderly family members, Optimus Gen 3 is built to meet a variety of needs. It's the most advanced version yet. Tesla plans to launch a premium edition of Optimus by mid-2026, which will feature significant upgrades, transitioning from internal use to broad commercial availability. To make this happen, Tesla has a bold production roadmap. The company is currently producing 1,000 robots per month, with plans to ramp up to 10,000 per month next year and 100,000 per month during the official expansion phase. By 2027, Musk is confident that Tesla will be capable of producing 1 million humanoid robots annually. Elon Musk envisions Optimus as more than just a machine. Here's what he has to say about it. It can be a teacher, a babysitter for your kids, walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, whatever you can think of, it will do. Please be nice to the Optimus robots so they'll be kind to you in return. You can walk right up to them and they'll serve drinks at the bar, pick up a cup, or even fold a shirt. These robots will adapt quickly to many tasks. This makes us think about Tesla's electric cars, like the Model 3, which cost over $40,000 but often end up parked in the driveway. Meanwhile, a Tesla robot, priced around $20,000, though the launch price may be higher, will quickly become more affordable as production scales. Musk has emphasized that Optimus will act as a homemaker or companion, answering any questions and helping with various tasks. The future of Optimus looks promising, as it's designed to be both functional and versatile, offering assistance across many aspects of daily life. The tasks you assign to Optimus will be completed quickly, which is why millions of people are eagerly awaiting its release. Many are tired of household chores and are excited for a robot that can help. However, 
We'll have to wait until early 2026 for Tesla to officially bring Optimus to market. While that may seem like a long wait, it gives Tesla time to refine the bot, add new features, and ensure stable performance compared to its current state. Tesla still needs time to optimize the technology and make it more practical for everyday use. But rest assured, this is just the beginning. When Optimus is finally in your hands, it will be fully autonomous. You might be wondering if Optimus can really perform tasks on its own. Well, last year, there were some instances where Optimus was seen being remotely controlled. After bringing 43 humanoid robots to the CyberCab launch event in October, Tesla faced some criticism and mockery when people noticed the robots were being controlled remotely by Tesla employees. This raised doubts about whether the robots could work autonomously once they reach customers. No one wants to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a robot that requires constant remote control or human assistance. That would be impractical and a waste of time. However, the truth is different. The remote control was part of Optimus's training process. In Tesla's factories, the robots are performing tasks to gather data and improve their abilities. Think of it like teaching a child. They need guidance and practice before they can do things on their own. Once Optimus has had enough learning and practice, it will be able to do tasks independently. In response to the heated discussions, Elon Musk explained why remote control is still needed at this stage. He compared it to Tesla's self-driving cars, stating that getting Optimus to operate fully autonomously will take a lot of time and training. But given the progress so far, just look at the upgrades Optimus received in quarter four last year. It's clear the robot is constantly improving. From learning to catch a tennis ball to being trained for more complex tasks, Optimus is evolving. The development of Optimus is progressing quickly, especially when compared to Tesla's electric vehicles. It's clear that Tesla has been putting more focus on Optimus recently. In fact, they've even spent a significant amount of money to have Kim Kardashian promote the robot, which speaks volumes, particularly because Elon Musk has never spent this kind of money marketing Tesla's electric vehicles or other products. In a sense, Optimus seems to be an exception for him. From our point of view, one positive aspect of Optimus's remote control feature is its exciting potential for humanoid robots. Remote control could allow humans to operate Optimus in dangerous situations, such as a fire rescue. It might be too risky for people to approach a fire, but Optimus could go in and we could control it from a safe distance. Optimus moves at about one meter per second roughly 2.2 miles per hour, on flat surfaces, but this isn't its final speed. Tesla's goal is to reach 2.2 meters per second when Optimus is officially released. Right now, improving Optimus's mobility and hand movements is a top priority for Tesla. At the moment, many people laugh at Optimus's wobbly gait, something we also found amusing at first. But after a moment, we realize there's more to it than meets the eye. You might wonder why the Tesla bot often appears with a bent knee posture, looking like an elderly person, or even a certain president. Why does Tesla seem to make it look slow on purpose? Some have even questioned whether Tesla should focus on electric vehicles instead of spending money on robots. Of course, Tesla doesn't want Optimus to move this slowly forever. They aim to make it faster, but they need time to get there. The slow movement and unsteady gait aren't signs of failure. They're simply a part of the development process for humanoid robots. Unlike electric vehicles, where Tesla has years of experience, humanoid robots present an entirely new challenge. They require integrating mechanics, artificial intelligence, and dynamic control at a much more complex level. Imagine this. For a machine to walk naturally on two legs, maintain balance in different situations, and react to its environment, it takes massive amounts of data and countless test iterations to get it right. Plus, Tesla doesn't just want Optimus to walk, it has much bigger goals for the robot's capabilities. Optimus also needs to be able to manipulate objects with its hands, work in real-world environments, and ultimately assist humans in various tasks. This requires synchronized development of both hardware and software, as well as fine-tuning AI algorithms so that the robot can move smoothly while maintaining stability. One reason Tesla isn't rushing to increase Optimus's walking speed is that safety is the top priority. A humanoid robot that weighs several kilograms could pose a danger to itself and the people around it if it loses control while moving too fast. By keeping the speed slower for now, 
Tesla can focus on improving balance, environmental awareness, and refining its movement to look more natural. Looking at the history of technological advancements, we see that many groundbreaking inventions were initially met with skepticism. When the first cars were introduced, people mocked them for being slower than horses. When airplanes were first developed, many doubted they could replace trains. Yet over time, these technologies completely reshaped the world. The story of Tesla's robot will be no different. If you closely observe Optimus's walking style, you'll notice that it changes depending on the surface. On a flat factory floor, Optimus moves differently than when it's on a slope. On level ground, it bends its legs less compared to when it's climbing or descending. While its legs aren't as straight as a human's, you can see a distinct difference. On flat surfaces, gravity acts evenly and consistently without any significant forces that could disrupt balance. This allows Optimus to maintain an upright posture without needing to lower its center of gravity too much. But when climbing or descending a slope, gravity exerts force at an angle, creating torque that pushes the robot forward or backward. To counteract this, Optimus needs to bend its knees more, lowering its center of gravity to improve stability. This also helps prevent slipping or losing balance. When we look at how other robots handle instability or slipping, most either collapse immediately or rely on external support like cables or stabilizing frames. Optimus, however, is different. It maintains its balance entirely on its own and does so in a way that's both stable and controlled. Optimus's movements feel remarkably natural, almost like a human. What truly impressed us was that Tesla conducted a mobility test for Optimus last year while the robot was essentially blind. It couldn't see anything because the 2D cameras in its head weren't working. Instead, it relied entirely on the sensors around its body and its AI brain to navigate and move. For the AI brain to work effectively, the sensors had to be extremely accurate in detecting the terrain and sending the information to the processing software. What amazed us the most was Optimus's processing speed. It was so fast it almost seemed unbelievable. According to a post by Milan Kovat on X, Optimus processes each control loop in just 2 to 3 milliseconds, which means it updates its state around 400 to 500 times per second. This gives it the ability to react incredibly quickly to unexpected situations. To put it simply, Optimus's AI brain is constantly anticipating what will happen next. It doesn't just respond to what's happening now, it predicts future events to make the best possible decisions. Not all robots have this ability, and even some of the top models on the market can't match this. If you've followed the development of Tesla's full self-driving, you'll recognize that Optimus has a similar ability to predict upcoming situations. In Tesla's October update video, we saw Optimus climbing stairs. At that time, it hadn't yet demonstrated the ability to descend them, which is a much more complex task. Going downstairs requires precise control of the robot's center of gravity to avoid tipping forward. However, after successfully navigating downhill terrain in recent tests, it appears that descending stairs is no longer a challenge for Optimus. This ability to climb and descend steep terrain shows that Optimus can handle a variety of tasks in different environments. Since work exists in all types of places, the Tesla bot could help with farming on hilly land, transporting objects up and down stairs, or performing cleaning tasks around the house. It can move between different floors to clean and assist in various ways. Notably, toward the end of last year, Elon Musk confirmed that Optimus and the Cybertruck would be the first two Tesla models sent to Mars if SpaceX succeeds in its spacecraft mission. The surface of Mars is rugged and challenging, so Optimus's ability to navigate such terrain could prove incredibly useful. Mars' surface is naturally rugged and uneven, making Optimus the perfect fit for the latest update. The robot is also equipped to handle search and rescue missions in tough terrains, helping reach areas that are difficult for humans to access. This is why we highly appreciate the two key updates to Optimus, its hands and mobility. Elon Musk once mentioned that Optimus could run continuously for about eight hours. You might think that a robot running for eight hours would need a massive battery, and we thought the same at first. But Tesla took a surprisingly different approach. Instead of cramming in a large battery, they equipped Optimus with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. While this may sound small compared to other humanoid robots, it's not insignificant. Tesla could have opted for a larger battery, but they didn't. Why? The answer is optimization. 
a bigger battery would make Optimus heavier, bulkier, and more expensive. Instead, Tesla used their most advanced 4,680 cells, high-energy density batteries originally designed for premium vehicles like the Cybertruck. These cells allow Optimus to operate efficiently without adding unnecessary weight. As a result, Optimus Gen 2 weighs just 138 pounds, 62.6 kilograms, lighter than many adults. But the innovation doesn't end there. This battery also supports ultra-fast charging, taking only 10 minutes to fully recharge. For comparison, a Tesla Model Y with an 81 kilowatt hour battery takes about 30 minutes to charge. Naturally, a battery 35 times smaller charges much faster. The biggest surprise, though, is how Optimus charges. Initially, we thought it would plug in like a regular Tesla car, but Tesla took a different approach. Optimus charges wirelessly. This is a huge leap forward, making the charging process more seamless and futuristic. Tesla's design for Optimus's charging process shows their thoughtful engineering. Just like humans conserve energy when they sleep, Optimus needs to rest and recharge. If Optimus were to lie flat while charging, it would take up too much space. So Tesla came up with a clever solution, hanging the robot on a charging dock, allowing it to stay upright while completely shutting down its motors. Sound familiar? It's a creative and efficient design. Exactly, this is the same principle behind Tesla's autonomous parking technology, which the company has fine-tuned over the years. While other competitors are still working out their strategies, Tesla is simply using its existing expertise to its advantage. From the Cybertruck to the Robovan and now Optimus, these innovations are all part of Tesla's bigger vision, a world where robots can charge themselves, operate autonomously, and require no human help. It's a reality that's possible, and it might arrive sooner than we think.